Southeast Queensland has been soaked in the biggest rain event since ex-tropical cyclone Oswald two years ago. Emergency crews rescued a number of people from flooded roads and the state emergency service was inundated with calls for help. As the creeks and rivers swelled, emergency crews swung into action. Swiftwater rescue teams battled floodwaters to save this man who was trapped on the roof of his car at Benogan in the Gold Coast hinterland. Get ready! Get in the water! Any rescue can be difficult, OK? Just we've got trained personnel here that know exactly what they're trying to achieve and we've got to have it as safely as we possibly can. I'm very thankful, mate. Very thankful. There's no way I was getting through that water. At Helensvale, people on the street stopped to rescue a couple from their car. They were left shaken but safe. Low-lying inner-city streets in Brisbane were swamped as king tides peaked at midday. It was a similar scene on the south side where water lapped at footpaths. This is the heaviest and most widespread rain in two years. And at least another 100 millimetres of rain is expected to fall along the coast overnight. There will be uh, localised uh, flooding of roads. Um, there will be you know, very uh, significant flooding of, of local creeks and stormwater drains. South East Queensland has already seen more than its average rainfall for the month. While it's heavy along the coastline, most of the drought affected interior have missed out. The system developed uh, along central Queensland. On the western side, uh, there was not much activity at all. The Weather Bureau is expecting the low pressure system to take several hours to pass as the weekend approaches. Generally fine conditions, the heavy rain should go away, but uh, there will be some showers and isolated storms here and there along the east coast. Just in time for Australia Day, Josh Babis, ABC News, Brisbane.